Archie from Mawful TV, sponsored by West Bear. And today I'm with playwright Penny and director Joan of the new play, Safe. How are you doing today? We're doing wonderfully. We are so thrilled to be in Edinburgh. We are having the time of our lives. I love being here. It's like being in a soup filled with artists. There's so much variety. So you're really enjoying the friends? Fantastic. Artists from all over the world, audiences from all over the world. This is exactly why we came. So tell us about the show. Um, Safe is a edgy drama set in New York City about two teenage girls who are victims of affluenza. They have too much money and not enough parental attention. Liz, the main character, um, her mother is gone. She's in rehab for alcoholism. Um, she's very uncomfortable with her body. She's bullied because of her weight. Her father returns to take care of her, but he doesn't know what to do with her. Her best friend, Liz, is anorexic, and she has her own problems. And one day, Nina goes to Starbucks and meets an older man who is a stranger who may or may not be safe. It's also about Nina, the lead character, who has a journey. She's very unhappy. She has parents who are not there for her, but she has all these opportunities, but doesn't know how to take advantage of these opportunities. Uh, it's her journey. It's about whether or not she will end up on the positive side of this experience. Uh, she wants to be a writer, but doesn't really know how to be a writer. But she, when she meets Philip, he kind of teaches her to be a writer. Um, I'm not going to give it away, what he really does and what <laughs> happens. Um, but actually, it's about Nina and her journey. So how did the idea of the show come about? Well, I'm also a YA novelist. I write about teenagers. I'm also a high school teacher of girls. And I observed my teenage girls. And there was a girl very much like Nina in my class whose mother was sent away to rehab, who was having issues with her weight, who was bullied. And I was very worried about her. And I would also go to a Starbucks that was near the private school where I taught. And I would watch this man observe these girls in their private school uniforms. And that's how the idea came about. I thought, what if? this man met one of these girls and what would happen? So the show started off-Broadway, did it not, in New York? Yes, it started at a festival called the Planet Connections Festival. It won the Best of the Festival Award. Um, we had five performances. It was 87 minutes long. And then we decided to take it to Edinburgh. My company, Ego Actus, is a production company. We're part of an indie theater movement in New York City. And Penny is one of our resident playwrights. Um, and we decided to take Safe to Edinburgh, but we knew that it could only be 60 minutes long. So Penny uh, worked on it and made it to 60 minutes from 87 minutes. Then we took it to the Edinburgh, um, East to Edinburgh Festival at 59 East 59th Street, where it sold out, people walked out loving the play. So we felt we were on really good footing when we came here to Edinburgh. Has had a really good reception so far. We've got a lovely review. Um, yes, we've gotten four stars and a terrific review from Paul Levy, a Fringe um, review. And we're really excited because um, I'll give you a great example. We had a group of uh, girls from London, from a uh, university, who came twice. And we've had a couple of people come twice because, as you know, there are questions that are unresolved. So people <laughs> like to return to try to figure out. and. Uh, we have audience members arguing about this play all the time. We also have audience members standing up at the end of it, applauding. Cheering, yes. Cheering, which we heard that in, in the UK, people don't stand up and cheer. That's right, <laughs> so. that's right, yeah. <laughs> so would you say your show's very much intended for young, like young women to see? Uh, you know, it's interesting. We had a sh um, an audience of almost all men the other day. I think it's universal. I think it's for young women, young men. Um, a lot of parents come and come back with their teenagers to see it. We've had older folks who adored it. So I, I feel it's universal. Themes of finding yourself, of going on a journey, they're for all ages. It is a cautionary tale. And it's, I think it's great if parents come and see it with their kids. I have one last question for you. So what's the message you want to, your, to give your audience after this? I think the message I want the audience is to really think about choices. What choices do the characters make? Could they have made better choices? What choices do you make in your life? How do you relate to the characters? Have you been on the same journey as Nina or Philip? Um, if you're a parent, what decisions do you make? If you're a teenager, what choices can you have? I wanted people to, this is the phrase that I like to use, as a parent, you do the time now 
so your children don't do the time later, meaning the time going to prison, getting in trouble, getting involved with drugs. So if you pay attention to your kids now and you feed them like you feed a plant, they're going to uh -huh. grow strong and they're going to be healthy and they're going to be productive citizens. Well, thank you so much for thank talking you. with us today. Thank it's you. been such a pleasure. Lovely. Thank you. You can catch SAFE at The Space till the 23rd of August. Thanks very much.